How's it going guys? So I got in my car the other day, drove to my secret location, took a few pictures of my Nitro RC, checked out everything before I began to kind of pull on the pull starter and guess what happened? Yep, that's right. Alright guys, so here we have the pull start. You can see the string kind of ripped off from the housing. I'll need to get to those three screws to get the pull start housing off from the back plate. But first, I need to remove the wheel so I can get to those three screws. Remove the hex bolt from the wheel. This should be rather easy. With the wheel off, you can now reach the three screws. I quickly propped up the body by putting the wheel underneath the chassis. Remove the three screws and take the housing off. In my case, there's a shaft that comes out with the pull start. Gently remove the housing with the shaft. It might be a little bit stuck, but just wiggle it out. Now there's a little screw that you'll want to take off from the housing before you start fiddling around in there. Once you take off the screw, you can now pull the cover off that's hiding the recoil spring and the little housing that holds the string together. If yours is stuck like mine, just give it a little force without breaking it. You'll notice that the piece that the string ties around is connected to the spring coil inside. In my case, it's pretty super glued on. It looks like someone else was kind of digging around here previously. So I'm gonna just remove that from the spring coil. At a closer inspection, you can see that someone was already previously messing around with this in the past. Now, since my coil came loose, I'm gonna have to wrap it around again and put it back in the housing. By the way, this part took me forever. You're gonna want to wrap it tightly, that way it can fit back inside the housing and make sure everything's connected inside. Inside of the housing, there's a place where you can kind of hinge the end piece so it doesn't pull off. This also took me several tries, so make sure you try to get that piece in there as quick as possible or else your fingers are gonna hurt. After you get the end piece in place, you're gonna want to put the rest of the coil back in there. Make sure that the coil is the perfect size or else you're gonna have trouble fitting that in. If it doesn't fit, just try to unwind it a little bit and then make it smaller and smaller until it does. In my attempt, the spring didn't go down as flush so I had to push it down with the screwdriver. Once you get it flush in the housing, this is how it will look. That little hinge, that's where you're gonna to wanna to connect the other piece to later on. Now as you can see, mine has been previously tampered with so I'll need to clean this off to make sure I get the perfect fit on the center piece hinge later on. Now when I flip it to the other side, you can see where the pull start string kind of ripped off. As you can see, it was super glued on so I need to remove this. I took a little flathead screwdriver, ran the piece underwater, and scraped off all the gunk. Now it's ready to put the string through. My string was frayed, so I took a little bit of super glue to fix that. Be sure to use gloves if you don't want your fingers to get super sticky and feel weird for the rest of the day. Gently apply it and make sure the tip is pointed. Now that you apply the super glue, it should be easy to kind of pull through, except in my case, I was struggling a little bit. I took some scissors and cut off the end to make it a little bit sharper so it can be easier to pull through. <sighs> After doing that, you shouldn't have any troubles anymore. Pull the string through and get it ready for the final step. <sighs> make sure that the housing is facing the right way so you can clip it on. Spin the string around so it pulls in the correct way and super glue the end on the little housing portion. 
Now clipping it in took me forever, and I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't that easy. As you can see, it took me many tries to get the housing like this. This is probably the most longest step. Now my pull start wasn't recoiling back correctly, which means something was rubbing inside. I'll show you guys what I did as a temporary fix. GoPro here just recording um, had a little trouble putting this housing back in because it was rubbing against the back plate so if you can see there there's only one screw attached right now while I do this test so I'm gonna go ahead and prime it there's some fuel in there I'll go ahead and prime it and see if it turns on There you have it guys, this was my first attempt at fixing a pull start and it worked, although with a little bit of troubles. I still have that recoil issue that I'll need to fix later on. If you like the content, be sure to like and subscribe.